All right, everybody, how are you? Welcome to the Coding Zoo. If this is your first time joining, my name is Shane. This is the Java Building Blocks playlist. In today's lesson, we're going to cover some of the basics of how to compare numbers, how to compare two numbers. If that's new to you, if you are learning the Java basics, stick around. We're going to jump right in. All right, so if you look on my screen here, I have a class called Comparing Two Numbers. We're going to start our lessons on how to compare um, you know, numbers, strings, and objects in Java with comparing two numbers. So let's go ahead and start that. So I've got a static method. I've got a class called Compare Two Numbers. Now in this method, I am going to go ahead and uh, add some code uh, to represent a number. So I'm going to do integer number equals five. Now this could be, um, you know, this could be a, a long, it could be a double, doesn't matter. Integer long, double, doesn't matter. Uh, it will work the same as what I'm showing you with this integer. So I've got an integer number equals five. Now I want to see if something uh, is greater than or less than five. So I'm gonna do result, Boolean result. Now, when I do that comparison, it's going to turn return a true false. So I'm going to say, is number less than six? So this is less than. Okay, so I'm going to print that out. That should equal what? Five is less than six. What should it equal? Let's control S to save. Let's go ahead and save it. Let's go ahead and run it. And there we go, true. Now what if I change that to say eight? Control S to save. And we have false. So eight is not less than six. So there you go. That is comparing two numbers with the less than sign. How do you compare uh, with a greater than. So what's greater than? How about, I'm going to print out the result directly to the console. So how about a uh, number greater than six? So this should come back as a false. So the first one is true, we could just be changed the number to five. So number, that number variable uh, is less than six. Um, now I'm comparing a variable with a number that's directly coded. Um, you could compare two variables that are integers, doesn't matter. So I've got system.out print the result. So the result of number less than six, five less than six is true. The next line shows that number greater than six is false. So. That's how you do greater than. Let's go to the to the next one. Let's do, is it greater than or equal to? So number greater than or equal to, and there we go, it's false. So number is not greater than or equal to six. Uh, let's change number to six, and then what do you think we'll get? And we have true. So the number is greater than or equal to six. So that's pretty neat. You can do less than, greater than, or you can do greater than equal to or equal to. I'm gonna change that back to five. All right, let's do one more. Let's see. How about less than or equal to? Isn't the number less than or equal to six? save it run it and there we go so number is no longer greater than or equal to six so that is set false from the previous example it is less than or equal to six because the number is five so that returns true so this is these are basic comparisons now what if i want to just see i don't care if it's greater than i don't care if it's less than i just want to see if it's not equal to six how do i do that so number so in 
Java, like other languages like JavaScript, you represent a not with exclamation point. So not equal to six. Save it, run it. So you'll see at the very bottom here, it says true. It's not uh, equal to six. Now what if I were to change it to six? And you'll see that the number not equal to six is false because it is equal to six. There you go, change that back to five. So what if I wanna see if something is equal to six instead of not equal? So you would think it would be equal, but that's not the case. So just like in other languages, um, you have to do equals equal. So is number equal to, let's say, five and of course in this case it should be now why can't you do equals well you know when you're creating a variable how do you set a variable to a value you use equals so in this expression up here if i were to say number is number equal to five well that's not saying it's that it doesn't know what to do it, it thinks you want to set the variable number to five not check whether it's equal. So you have to do equal, equal. Now in JavaScript, if you're used to like a language like JavaScript, you sometimes will see equal, equal, equal. We don't have that in Java. We don't have to worry about that. So is number equal to five? Save it. And the answer is true. It is equal to five. So pretty simple. You have greater than, you have greater than equal, you have less than, you have less than equal, you have not equal, and you have equal. So these are primitive numbers. Now, uh, we haven't covered it yet in our videos, but, but if you're familiar, there's also a diff another way to represent numbers, and that, that way is using wrapper objects. So these are primitive variables. You can create an object integer. I'm gonna call it number two. Well, let's call it first number equals integer dot value of, let's say 300. We'll cover wrapper objects in the upcoming videos, but this is one way that you can create a number. I just wanted to cover it real quickly. And we'll go, this is very similar to comparing objects and we'll go in depth on how you compare objects uh, in future videos. But I just wanted to give you a taste of it real quick. So let's create another integer object, second number, Let's make it also 300. Okay. Now, what happens if I do this? If I print out first number equal equal second number. And what do we have at the bottom here? So we have false. So I ran this statement and it came back false, but we can see the first number and the second number are both set to 300. So what's going on? Well, this equals is trying to compare these two objects. So in memory, there is an object that has the value inside of it, the primitive value inside of it of 300. And there's another object that has another value of 300. And those two objects are not the same object. So in here, we're not really comparing the integers using equals equal. We're actually comparing uh, whether it's the same object or not. So if I were to say first number is equal to first number, it should come back true. So you'll see at the bottom here, it is now true because that object is equal to itself, that object. So that So when you're using wrapper objects, you're doing just that, you're using objects and you cannot um, compare two objects with equal equals or, or greater than equal or not equal to. Just can't do that. Because um, it does not, you just can't do that because it doesn't compare the values inside of those objects. So in upcoming videos, we'll go over how to compare objects. So stick around for that and to, uh, be sure to subscribe below and we'll cover that in future videos. So how would I compare these two objects? Well, here's a, here's a taste of it. So I'm going to do sys out and I'm going to do first number dot 
compare to, so it's an object, it's a wrapper object, it has methods. So compare to second number, save it, run it, and it comes back with zero. So what does zero mean? Well, that means that it is equal to the second number. Now, what if I were to change the value to say four? 100, 400. And now it comes back with negative one. It is actually, so the first number is actually less than the second number. So it comes back with a negative one. Now what if I were to change that back to 300, change this one to 400. And now it comes with one. So negative one means less than, zero means it's equal and one means that it's actually greater than. So the first number is actually greater than the second number. All right, well, let's look at one more. So how about first number equals second number. Let's run that, see what happens. And it comes back with false, it is not equal to the second number. Now, I don't know if it's greater than or less than, I just know it's not equal. So that's the difference in compare to and equals. All right, change that to 300, save it, run it again, and now it comes back with true. So hey, that's it, pretty simple. That's how you compare numbers. When you get into using wrapper objects, and we'll go into what wrapper objects are in future videos, it's a little bit different because you're comparing objects. You're not comparing primitives. We'll have a video on wrap, what wrapper objects are, and we'll also have a video on how to compare objects in general. This is how you compare numbers. I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, leave me a message below, and I will get back to you. If this is your first time uh, watching our videos, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you liked it, click the like button. And if you want to learn more Java with us, or JavaScript, and eventually Python, hey, click the subscribe button. It's right below. Click that bell and we will see you next time. Thanks for joining. Bye.